understanding of it. And maybe you're in a point now where you can talk about it a little more freely in your therapy. Just another step towards being able to experience aspects of yourself more freely. Uh, and and uh, good times. Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're 13? Yeah, I'm 13. Got, got a question for Dickie? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you guys recognize me, but I've called a few times before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silk, silk. Yeah. Drew and I call you Silk, like when we're talking on our cell phones on the way home. It's like, yeah, it's been a few months since we heard from Silk. And then uh, <laughs> Drew, exactly what he's talking about. Drew will correct me and I go, no, he called in when you were uh, you're doing Kimmel's show. He called first call of the night. Missed him out. I'm yeah. like, oh man, I miss Silk. I, you just love to hear his voice, Kevin's velvet tones of Kevin's voice. Yeah, hold on. Lay it on us, Kevin. Hold on. Shh. Let him talk. All go right. ahead, Silk. All right. Uh, well, I have a question for Dicky, and I wanted to know if uh, the song "Ride on Broad Street." Tells like a true story, or if the uh, yes lyrics are made up. Tells a it tells a true story of a uh, turn of the century riot between Protestants and Catholics. I think the uh, oh really you seen Gangs of New York? Yeah, I did. It was a little disappointing for me. Really, I I, I loved the uh, I don't know. I thought there was too many liberties. I took I read the book when I was a kid. And, uh, oh really? He married too much time together. You know, like those riots happened, but it didn't all happen on the same weekend. Well, it's know. like. Daniel Day Lewis kills. He was uh, awesome. Daniel he was Day-Lewis he was awesome. he he was great, but he kills Leonardo DiCaprio's dad when Leonardo's four, and now Leonardo's thirty one, and Daniel Day Lewis has a mustache. It's <laughs> like, wait a minute, it was twenty twenty four years later. And the whole he, he time was, I'm going, I just wish that boat would sink. I only meant that's Titanic. All right. All right. Well, uh, you got to see it again, Dick. It's great. You all right. See it. All right, Anderson. Yeah. R- you got to study it, Anderson. Mm-hmm. Unplug your mic this time, would you, Anderson? <laughs> Hey, right, Kevin. Yeah. You know the, uh, you ever hear the uh, Boston song, The Rascal King? Uh, don't know. Oh, you're going to like that song. All right. That's a true story, too. That's a good song. Yeah. Like All right, cro- thanks, crooked uh, thanks. Good times there, Silk. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Bye. Yeah. I love that song. I love that Silk. <laughs> yeah, he really does, you know. Smooth. He's turned the show around, hasn't he? He really has. <laughs> let's get it going. Let's dedicate the rest of the night to uh, Silk. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's talk to uh, Silk at thirteen. Robert, who's uh, nineteen. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? A whole new, different style. That's right. We got a new flow going. Yeah, well, this is sandpaper. Uh, I was uh, having sex with this one girl, right? Yeah. And she looked at my penis and she said that I wasn't circumcised. And it just got to me, you know, because she said, she said I didn't do it right, really. And I was like, hold on, maybe I should get my penis circumcised. And she said that a lot of other people are circumcised, too. Hold on, are you Jewish? No, I'm not Jewish. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just well, wondering, you I know. I got to flip over all the cards now, Drew. I'm confused. I can see what they're yeah. disorienting to you. Yeah, because I figured you would be circumcised.